Welcome back to my 3D printing uh, channel. Um, as you can see, I'm printing the um, 3D Lab Spitfire. This, the um, SDLs came bundled, well, not the SDLs, the actual uh, printable files came bundled with the uh, Prusa um, printer. Um, the Prusa original printer as part of the package, you know, sort of test prints. Um, so you don't actually get the SDLs, you, you get the, the sliced files themselves uh, ready, directly ready for printing. Um, and so I printed uh, the wings, as you can see, most of the fuselage. Uh, there's a last bit of fuselage, fuselage uh, just printing there. Um, it's very thin walled uh, and it's, it's been fine actually. I haven't had any problems whatsoever with the printing. Um, as you can see inside, it's just great to, to see how they do it. It is, it is very thin, very light. Um, I've got, to, I'm gonna to have to file down some of the edges just to get the joins. Uh, uh, okay? <laughs> Remember which way around all this goes. Hang on a second. Um, as you can see, the, the pieces go together really nicely. Um, I'm going to have to file down uh, some of these edges just where they've sat on the print bed. Um, just take take that slight uh, loop out there, uh, and then these these should uh, go together very nicely. There is uh, there are um, on some of the pieces there's sort of line up pieces uh, just to hold to to get it to line up. Not on those pieces, but they are on. Here you can just see, get it in camera, uh, just to, to line up against other sections. So that, that will sort of hold in there when, when you glue it. Um, so I've just got to, you know, do a bit of prep work on, on, the, on the pieces, but uh, they're generally coming out really nicely and uh, it's, it's great to see how it's done inside actually. Very light. Um, and no problems at all with um, any any fail prints or anything. That's the that's the tail. So I've just got a few. I've just got the you know the tail fins to go on. I've got the ailerons to print, um, and uh, then there's there's the uh, there's a section for the nose. Uh, I'll just get that bit again. There's a section in there to, for the nose to hold the the, the motor. Now, um, so I think I'm actually going to add in all the motors and um, servos uh, and uh, see if I can actually get it to fly. Now, I can't actually, uh, I've never flown a radio control plane, so I'm going to um, uh, learn how to do it, which should be quite a fun thing to do next year. There's a, a radio controlled uh, flying club uh, just about a mile up the road. Um, I'm not going to learn on this because I think I'll just crash instantly, but uh, you can buy a little. Um, uh, little, um, fairly cheap little learner planes and you can also get the um, simulator software so I think over the winter I'll get the simulator software and a proper um, RC controller to set all this up just because that would be quite a fun quite a fun little project um, and I think I'm, I'm gonna put it all together I may paint it um, they say that adds a bit of weight on it but um, I think it would be really nice to do it in proper Spitfire colours you know the blue underneath and camouflage on top and maybe the, the D-Day stripes on it, because it's a Mark 16, I think this is. I must check which, which version of the Spitfire it is. It is, um, I will find, yeah, it's a Mark, yes it is, it's a Mark 16. Uh, so I think that's that's later on in the war, so that would have been D-Day, I assume, or maybe a bit later. Um, so uh, this hasn't actually taken very long to print. Each, each bit takes about, uh, on average, well, three, three to four hours. Some of the longer bits, five hours, but you know, not very long, because uh, there's not much um, um, plastic in there, and it's all PLA, which is what they recommend. And as I say, you can just, if I just pan back to that bit there, that piece is um, part part of the fuselage, part of the rear bit of the fuselage, sitting there. Which is the last bit of fuselage? No, I've got one other bit of fuselage to go, which will sit right at the back, I think. Uh, and then I've got the ailerons, the elevator, um, the, and then there's a the motor mount. So I've got to decide on the motor mount. You know, if I get the motor mount, uh, battery holders, um, and uh, there's also for the ailerons. There's if I just pan back. 
you can see very thin slots in there you can get really thin um plastic uh specific very flexible plastic specifically for the alarms uh which just glues in so it's just a flexible um bend there's no hinge as such uh you can get it from the hobby shops uh which i'll get um to make to make those work but it's been um, a really nice uh, you know something to do for a uh, little break from doing the r2 uh, which is still coming along very nicely um that's inside those bits. And as I say, the best bit to look inside is, is that because I think that's, that's fantastic inside there. So I've just got to you know, clean it up a little bit. That blue is the um, tape I've got on the print bed because I've damaged the print bed again, I think I may have mentioned. Um, I tried it without just to just to, uh, sticking straight uh, onto the normal surface, and it didn't actually take the first time. So, but using the printer's blue tape, stuck perfectly. Um, it overstuck, in fact, so it's quite hard to get off. So I just got to give that a bit of a clean. But uh, generally speaking, um, no damage came out really well. And as you can see, it's, it's you can actually flex it. So I suppose. Um, if when you, if when you crash these things, you can just um, sort of um, you know take them apart again and just reprint and um, uh, reassemble. So it's not too uh, um, not too much at the end of the world. There's a special clip mechanism which holds the wings to the fuselage. And if you watch the 3D Labs videos, it's, they're sort of speeded up, so it's not too clear. So I think as I glue it together, I'll do another video. Um, but uh, it doesn't seem too difficult. Fitting the ailerons, I think I've got to, um, I'm not sure if they've actually slotted them out yet. Yeah, they have the slot outs for the, uh, for the servos. Um, and they're just the little um, baby little servers, which I've got quite a few of. Same ones I've used in some of the InMove Eye uh, controls. So I've actually got some of those servos, but I will buy a proper um, transmitter. I think because if you buy the uh, radio, if you buy the simulator, it can come with a transmitter. But by the time you bought that, you might as well just go and buy a proper transmitter, which I also may use on some of the other projects I've got. So uh, um, it's a, it's quite a new world. I've never really got into uh, what never got into radio control as such at all. So um, but I thought it was time. So I will continue printing, um, and then over the weekend, I think I'll start gluing. We're sort of mid December at the moment, just to give you a date. Um, uh, election day to give you a precise date in the UK. Um, print that bit, print another couple of bits um, and uh, assemble uh, over the Christmas period I think and maybe buy all the bits, uh, the, the controller uh, as a Christmas present. So that's that's it for the time being. Well, I've been sanding down the edges as I was saying earlier just to get these two uh, to fit and most of them fit really well. There's a little bit of warping on some of the bits which I'll show you but um, that these these pieces yes yeah, in the camera have got uh, there, there are some um small little lugs there just to slot in i've just had to take uh smooth that down and sometimes uh sand inside there so that nothing catches but the outer the outer wing tips actually do almost clip in actually that that will go in quite nicely there as you can see on that one um, again, sanding that down. There's a touch of warping going on, um, but it's not going to cause any problems. Slight warping on the edge there. Uh, this, the, these top uh, pieces are fine because it's always it's printed like that. It's, it's, it's warping on the bed side of it. But um, so I managed to get that to fit more or less. I haven't glued anything in it, obviously, as you can see. So that wing is nearing. Oops. That ring is nearing uh, assembly. That's the uh, that's the right hand. Um, this uh, again, oh, I should take that apart again, just to show you. See the the uh, slight uh, raised lugs on there, just to lock it up. There's a little bit of warping on the, uh, again on the on the bed side, the printed down side of the uh, the print. Oh, let's get that bit. Sand that down a little bit more. 
It's, it's warping on the, uh, the trailing edge actually, but I can probably fill that with uh, super glue. Well, that's what I'm planning on. Uh, the main issue, the main bit I have really been sanding is this center section, uh, the, the, this is the middle of the wings, uh, where there was quite a bit of warping. I've spent um, quite a bit of time on this now. Uh, there's no um, a latching lugs in there or anything, so I'm just trying to get that as flat as possible. But there's 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 clear warping on one of the pieces, just there. That's the that's the leading edge there, trailing edge again. Has got warping, but I think if I can get that sanded down enough, I can then fill that with with glue. So I'm not too worried about that. But this this piece is where the uh, locating lug goes in to, to lock the wings in, goes in there. Also just noticed I might be able to put in um, some small little um, bits of uh, PLA just to hold in there while I'm gluing that together. Uh, so I've still got to work that, that's probably the, the trickiest bit I've got to, to work on at the moment. Show you how the nose cone. I wasn't sure when I was looking at the the, the videos on the uh, on the three um, D lab site. It was quite unclear what was going on with this uh, this section here. But it's actually once you uh, take it, once you build it, it's it's, uh, it's not too hard. Just take that out. That's the locking piece. So that that actually locks into the wing. Uh, in there, that way up. And it will slot in, so it's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna be that way around. Yeah, it will, it will, it will slot in there. I didn't, this, this uh, bit didn't need too much work on it. She just got to prise that open a little bit. And that will just, just push in and so that slides forward forward and back um, so when the top section is on which is there this will lock in probably not showing this probably better once I've glued it all together to actually redo this bit but that that locking pin locks in in there. Which will hold the wing on. Because I think the wing clips on clips in at the back and then locks in at the front, which drops the wing off. Uh, I think that's how it works. Um, so uh, as I said, I'm just gonna uh, spend more time uh, preparing these these wings. I've got this one that's not looking too bad, that one there. Uh, so it's almost ready to glue. I'm not gonna glue it today. Uh, to spend the rest of the day just sanding and getting them uh, uh, you know um, joining together nicely well I've got the uh, the noise you can hear in the background by the way is the ailerons being printed um, I've got this rear section to uh, lock in really well actually so it's quite a bit of it is uh, it's beginning to um, come together. It's not been too difficult at all. It's been pretty quick to print as I was mentioning earlier. Oh, well, relatively. Um, so um, and it's just a fun little project to do. Uh, I haven't damaged anything yet but uh, I have done a lot of sanding uh, trying to get as I said this bit those edges I've been sanding on a flat bit of um, sandpaper just endlessly sanding like that just to try and get as much uh, surface to, to glue together as possible. Um, once, the, once that's locked in, as I say, I'll fill that with CA glue and uh, just fill in the gaps. But I don't want to put any filler in there. So the, everything's going to be um, glue. I'll just show you that on the front. You can see uh, quite a bit of warp there. So um, that bit in particular is warp has come right up. But I don't think that's going to cause too much, too many problems. Uh, so that's where I am at the moment. Um, I've just got the ailerons are printing. I'll just show you. 
this name on the on the printer there. Um, and I've then got the uh, the sorry, they're the elevators printing. I've got the air ones to print, um, and I think that's all the bits I've got to print actually. There's the the adapt the engine uh, adapters, which I'm not going to do. I printed the battery holder. I'm not quite sure how that goes in. Uh, which is that little bit there. I'll just swing around so you can see this, this again. Um, that's the battery holder. That slots in there, so I haven't really looked at that. Um, looking at the drawings, you get you get a basic uh, layout with the the um, um, 3D lamp thing. So I think uh, we're we're moving forward with it. Um, so next day or so, I think I'll have all this glued together. Uh, and um, I just want to make sure the wings are obviously <laughs> flat um, and there's no issues or as flat as possible and one isn't sort of twisted or anything so I'm going to spend a bit of time on that um, and I'll keep you informed.